That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing forward with Game 2, my Game 2 submission as Sierra Unibravo, a.k.a. Striker, in the Operation Dead Drop Maximum Damage Tournament. Now, for any of you that missed out on Game 1, make sure to check the links below. I got a full recap there where we posted a whopping 756 total points. And Game 2 happens roughly 10 minutes after that. So within the very first 40 minutes of the entire tournament, I submitted two of my best games out of three so without further ado make sure to give us a like and a follow and enjoy the commentary over game two check it out seven players Ugh, not as good not as good not as good not as good i'm gonna want to take an extraction if i can get it another spot time that i spawn here now is it a coincidence that two of my best games come with a starting spawn point in comms relay i don't think so we talked about it in game one how there's so many early engagements that you can take here either players moving into this location or spawning here that it can really help you snowball throughout the course of the game you know throughout the entire tournament uh rack up all those bonus points from damage and kills and be able to move forward so love the spawn point here for the tournament in this case let's go got one <laughs> that was pretty fast. Major shout out to the developers for the comm system that they put into the game. You know, it is a good way to be able to share these types of experiences, you know, funny or upset regardless. As variants, there's only a few of us, right? So we get to play against each other. We get to know each other. And it's just a good way to be able to share experiences amongst each other. And major shout out to them for implementing it. Three, two, one. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, the bullet's going to go too slow. I have to really lead it. I, d I guess I don't have a good stock on this one. All right. He's done. He was probably trying to snipe me. Classic striker there. You know, when I was playing college baseball, my coaches would always tell me, damn it, striker, you, you make the hard plays, but you miss the easy ones. You know, we have a player here without a gun at the top of filtration roof, and I have him dead to rights, and I can't convert the kill. You know, still working on, you know, leading the sniper. It's, it's a skill that's going to take time to, to work on. However, now we get to talk about these roof dynamics, you know, height advantage here between filtration center and between comms relay as I try to take a couple shots here, you know. But prior to the tournament, I did think that comms relay was at a disadvantage when you get into a roof battle against uh, filtration center, not really sh shipping hub. But as I've learned... Throughout playing more games, you have so much more cover here that even though Filtration Center has, you know, high ground, you know, they have to expose themselves on these three large ramps, you know, and even Shipping Hub, they don't have, they only have one or two columns to hide behind, they get stuck here, right? Now, in this next battle, we're going to be facing an opponent coming up from below. Now, my personal preference is always to no scope flick to the left, which is why I break right here. Woo, baby with the no scope. Let's go. It's the best gun right now. It is a little overpowered, I have to admit. It is a little overpowered. Now we got to get into a little bit of a discussion about the sniper specifically, right? A lot of players knew coming into this tournament that obviously the sniper was going to be preferred because of its time to kill, how much damage it does, how many points you can earn, right? And there's been some discussion in the variant discord of Midnight Society on what can be done about this, you know? A lot of people have said, you know, perhaps the sniper needs to be nerfed. I'm actually under the impression that maybe the rifles, the other rifles need to be buffed. And I say this because when I'm getting into long distance engagements, I really feel like the sniper is the only gun that can really do the job. You know, you, you can see me getting shot here probably by a rifle, you know, but I was dead to rights there. You know, if the rifle was a little bit more accurate or maybe did a little bit more damage um, with less bullet drop, you know, it would have a better chance to compete against a sniper rifle. You know, one of the things that most people have also recommended was the idea about perhaps the sniper should have its own ammo type. And I do think in this case, you would be in a situation where the sniper would be used less. Maybe there'd be one or two players on the map with the sniper because it'll take you longer to loot the ammo, to also find the gun or to loot it off another body. You know, that could be a good balance to it. But on the, my personal preference right now is I really think we need to see what's going to happen with the other rifles buffs before we make a 
big decision on whether or not the sniper should be changed. Fuck, striker, stop choking. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, baby. Hit that one. Okay, so not only did we get that kill, we did notice that someone else was trying to take it from us as well. So because he wasn't at the top of shipping hub there, his own, the only other option is that he moved to the top of filtration, filtration. And if you can hear the commentary in the background, right now what I'm pretty much saying is I'm okay with the sniper battle with 23 health because it doesn't matter. If I have full health or less health, if I get hit once, I'm dead anyway. So I'm happy to take this next battle. Fell down. Oh, come on, there was blood, bro. There was blood. Okay, so this engagement is going to be a little bit prolonged. It's going to go about a minute, right? The important things here in any type of sniper battle that I've been feeling lately is repositioning and trying to anticipate what, what position your opponent is going to be in and prefer to be in to have a clean shot. I broke left and I'm coming around this left side, which I would almost never do. If you watch some of my other videos against Crypto Stash, th Stash, this is exactly where he got me. But the main reason is because I'm giving my back to Khan's relay. Someone in the windows or someone on the roof can easily take a pop shot. Now I knew this going into it and I was happy with it simply because of the fact that there was only three players left in the game, including myself. So is there a chance that I could be giving my back to an enemy? Yes. I think it's worth the risk to win this battle here because then I'll be going into the end game just against one other person. Oh, come on, bro. Now you can see me clipping some of the wall there, especially when I'm coming vertically, trying to come up over the wall. It's mostly because there's a difference between the sight that I have on my sniper and the muzzle of the sniper. They aren't perfectly aligned. I don't know if they're supposed to be or not, just something that I've noticed. So if you're a developer out there, you know, love to get your feedback on it. Again, repositioning, so important. I need, we need to know, we need more information at this part than, than the information that we give him. And that's what we just got. If you saw it for a split second, he just showed his head so I know generally where he is. I juke around, he's not looking at my position, game over. One more player. We're going for the dead drop. If I can kill him in 30 seconds, I get the dead drop. If I don't, then we're might as well just get the extraction. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm not able to find the other player in the game, and that last kill was kill number five to go ahead and give me a good total score to be able to submit for my second game. But the important thing I want to talk about here as we work our way towards the extraction zone is I want to talk a little bit about the health uh, stations on the map. Comms relay we know is packed with them. That's probably one of the reasons why a lot of players flock that way. But the hell stations everywhere else, specifically in shipping hub up here on top of this column and over here in filtration center on my left, you know, both of them are very exposed positions. You know, I would almost never want to go into filtration centers, um, you know, healing station because if you get into a battle there, it doesn't matter what floor they're on, you're always going to be at a disadvantage and you can't move because you're having to jump up and down uh, these different steps. You know, here in filtration and shipping hub, you know, these columns kind of limit you also because if you get into a battle against someone in the windows or someone on a roof, they know you're stuck behind one column while they can reposition, move into another window, go up or down a floor, but you're stuck. And even if you decide to take the battle, you know, and you decide to go up or down a ramp, now you're making your comfortable shot more complex. You're having to account for going up and down the ramp, adding a little bit of vertical, um, you know, drift to your shot to make sure that you hit it. You know, that plus the fact that you're exposed more and have less cover just doesn't feel good. Even going down these ramps, like I would probably say that this is one of the least places on the map that I would enjoy to fight. I'd much rather fight at the very bottom of the map where there's one, more health stations, and two, many more areas to navigate. You can break left, you can break right. 
you're going to see me go down the ramp here and you can see how I have different options to be able to, to take advantage. You know, if I get shot behind the, the left side as I turn the corner, totally can break right and I feel comfortable with it. You know, luckily I'm able to extract here with just 10 health left and be able to bank game two. Look, get me out, get me out, get me out. All right, successful extraction. We're going to clip this one. This one seemed pretty good, but I'm not sure how th this went. Five kills. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. We're going to have another queue in five minutes.